Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. People always email me puzzles from social media, and they love it when I make videos about these puzzles because it helps them understand how to solve them and it helps build their confidence in math. This puzzle can be described as follows. We have a three-digit number represented by a blue circle, followed by a gray circle, followed by a red circle. This three-digit number is added together three times to produce another three-digit number represented by three red circles. The challenge is to solve for each color of each circle. It's not stated in the problem that was distributed, but you can assume each color represents a different digit. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So how can we solve this problem? There are many different ways you can go. I'm just going to explain the way that I solved it. So first I converted this into an algebraic problem. I said the blue circle is represented by A, the gray circle is represented by B, and the red circle is represented by C. So we have the problem ABC being added together three times to produce the result of CCC. Now how can we solve this? Well, let's take a look at the ones column. What's the possible range that we could have? Well, the smallest value for C is zero, and that would result in zero. The largest value for C is nine, and that would result in 27. So the result of this column has to be between zero and 27. Therefore, three times C will either be equal to C as a one digit number, or it'll be a two digit number that's between 10 and 20, 3c is equal to 10 plus c, or it'll be between 20 and 27, 3c is equal to 20 plus c. These are the three possible cases to consider. Let's consider each one. If 3c is equal to c, that means c is equal to zero. But then the final result is zero, 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 which means A and B would also have to be zero. And this is not possible since each letter represents a different digit. So we cannot have C being equal to zero. Let's consider the third case that three C is equal to 20 plus C. In that case, we can solve C is equal to 10. But this is not possible since each letter has to be a digit between zero and nine. So that leaves the final possibility that 3c is equal to 10 plus c. We can solve this to get that c is equal to 5. Therefore, the final result is 5, 5, 5. And we've essentially solved the problem. There's just one more step we need to take. We have the same number being added together three times to equal 555. 3 times some number is equal to 555. That means if we take 555 and divide it by 3, we get ABC. 555 divided by 3 is equal to 185. So that must equal ABC. So A must be equal to 1 and B must be equal to 8. And this in fact works out. So now we'll just go back to our original problem. And this is the answer. The blue circle is equal to 1, the gray circle is equal to 8, and the red circle is equal to 5. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. I post math videos that can be watched for free with topics from people around the world because math is universal. You can help the cause by subscribing for free to get the newest videos. You can also watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos which will help more people discover the channel. You can also email me a math or puzzle topic at presh at mindyourdecisions.com. If you like this video, you can also check out my books, which are linked in the video description. And if you so choose to support that math is universal, you can support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.